Hello, let's make some kimbap. This is my kitchen. If you saw my previous video, you would have seen this kitchen before. Um, I'm gonna turn that off. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Yeah, I had the uh, dish uh, the dish dryer going, not the dishwasher. I just went to Care For or Jia Le Fu and bought some ingredients. Uh, I have been craving some Korean food since we haven't had Korean food in a while and we've it's been over a month since we've left Korea So today I'm gonna try to make kimbap. We only had kimbap once when we were in Korea But I've had it before in the US too and I'm gonna try to make something similar to Like a bulgogi kimbap. So like a beef kimbap. Uh, if you don't know kimbap means uh, seaweed and rice and uh, bulgogi is like Korean barbecued beef. So we're gonna try to make something like that. Again, this is my first time doing a cooking video in my kitchen, so we're gonna see how it goes, but um, I apologize if there's any noise or weird videography stuff going on. So um, please stick along for the ride, and I hope you enjoy, and I hope that this uh, this kimbap turns out okay. Okay, so um, these are the ingredients that I got. Hopefully these are acceptable. Um, my girlfriend is Korean, if you didn't know, so she'll be the judge on that, I guess. Um, let's, let's look at what we got here. Um, I have these seaweed uh, sheets, I guess. Seaweed sheets. And um, I'm praying I got the right ones. They're made in Taiwan. So I don't know if that's going to affect anything or not. Um, I think kids normally just take these sheets and eat them, like directly. But the guy that I asked for, the guy that I asked for like directions on where to find those, he said those are the ones for cooking. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that's the right stuff. I got two packs of those. I didn't have any sesame oil, so I got that. I got kimchi, which is not a part of the um, kimbap. I'm just gonna have it with it. I like kimchi. Um, this is really all for me. My my Korean girlfriend, believe it or not, doesn't like kimchi. So uh, that's all for me. I got carrots. I think I actually have one, but I just got more just in case. We have Australian beef. Why Australian? Because uh, it's cheaper than American beef here. Supposedly spinach is a better option, but I uh, I could not find any. I think they were sold out in the market that I went to and I didn't feel like going to another one. So I don't think Minji, my girlfriend, likes cucumbers. So we're going to do two. I'll do one with it and one without, and then we'll see if it makes a big difference or not. I got this stuff. I forget the um, the English name for it. Or oh, Juma Ye. So that means, uh, oh, it says Hangul Juma Ye. So that means Korean um, sesame plant leaves, sesame leaves. Um, I forget, that the, they're not called sesame leaves in English, they have another name, but I forget what it is off the top of my head, I'll put it up here. So those are the ingredients we're working with. Um, hopefully that is the right stuff. And oh, we have rice too, I'll put, I'll do rice right now. So honestly, as I poured out my rice, I realized I'm kind of using the wrong grain of rice. You're supposed to use short grain or medium grain rice for uh, kimbap, but this is kind of like a Thai long grain rice. Um, it's not super long, so hopefully it'll be okay. Um, supposedly the reason for doing that is that it's not gonna fall out, like it'll stick It'll stick together better if it's shorter grain. Um, again, I don't know how true that is. This is my first time making it, but that's just what I've heard um, online. Okay, I've washed the rice three times now, just like my girlfriend told me to. I'm going to make sure the water is decent. This rice cooker that I have, it uh, it always burns rice, no matter what. If I do, if I do less water, more water. Uh, if I butter the sides, it always, always makes burnt rice. So hopefully, I put enough rice in there that that there's still enough that's not burnt when it's done. Okay, while rice is cooking, what we're gonna do now is prep the beef. I have to look up what exactly goes into that. Um, and I know that I'm missing some ingredients. So we're just gonna kinda wing it and hope that it turns out okay. 
Here's the beef we're working with. I'm going to put it in this little container. Then we're gonna fill it with some soy sauce and some sesame oil and maybe some garlic. I think that's, I think that's all we're doing. This is kind of the mixture we're dealing with right now. We got garlic, um, some other spices. We've got soy sauce and sesame oil. I don't know the proportion for everything, so I just kind of guessed definitely a lot more um, soy sauce than sesame oil. I don't know if that's, that's accurate or not, but we're gonna uh, just kind of mix this all together, make sure every area is coated, and then we will um, just let it sit in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Here's our beef mixture. All right, so I've cut the carrot. Um, my cutting skills aren't aren't the best, so um, I'm just gonna have to deal with that. I'll probably thin these thicker ones out a little bit more. Um, they're supposed to be matchstick thickness and width. Um, these are a little bit thicker, but you know I'll figure that out. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to the cucumber. Uh, the cucumber I don't think will cook. It'll just be put into the the kimbap raw, and then this will be cooked uh, for a few minutes, so it's a softer texture. Um, it'll still have some crunch, but um, less carrot flavor, and uh, but more of a cooked carrot flavor, which uh, I kind of prefer. All right, so we have carrots and cucumbers prepped. Our next step is we're going to blanch these, the um, sesame leaves, I forget what they're called again, um, and then we will cook the beef, the bulgogi, and then I think we're done. Just assembly after that. All right, so the beef is cooked. We've got all of our ingredients prepped. The sesame leaves are blanched. Now, the hardest part of making kimbap, from what I've heard and from what I've seen on YouTube, is the assembly. So we're going to try to uh, assemble this correctly. However, I'm missing some things. So the first thing I'm missing is I don't have a bamboo sheet which is what you're supposed to put the uh, seaweed stuff on. Now, I've seen a trick where you can use aluminum foil. However, I am also fresh out of aluminum foil. So what we're gonna use is a baking sheet, and hopefully that's good enough. Um, I, the goal really is just to have something outside of the seaweed itself to wrap it in um, from what I've gathered. So hopefully that is good enough. Um, the rice is finished. And I've just finished cooking the beef, so that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna try to assemble these. Okay, I have the mic in my shirt again, so sorry if that's too close. Sorry if you can hear me breathing. All right, here's our seaweed. Gosh, I, I haven't even opened this yet. I probably should have opened this before we started, but yeah, I don't even know really if this is the right stuff. So let's see here. It looks right. How's that ASMR? Okay, okay. Okay, that looks right to me, or it looks like it's gonna be good enough. Um, again, I am not a professional cook. I don't even think I'm a good home cook. I just like to cook. So I have no clue what I'm doing. If you're gonna do this at home, I would definitely recommend uh, watching someone better than me teach you how to do this. So let's get the rice out. Um, to be honest, what I've heard is you're supposed to use cool rice, but my rice is piping hot. So um, we're just gonna have to deal because I don't feel like waiting. From what I've seen, you're supposed to cover it like, like maybe two thirds of the way. So we're gonna do that. I'll use this to spread it out since it's so hot right now. Again, we don't want anything more or less covered. 
kind of evenly spread. It is quite sticky, so I suppose that's good. We don't want this thing falling apart. Let's try not to push it together. It looks like the moisture from the rice is like affecting the seaweed. I'm going to do leaves first. And hopefully this is good. I really wanted spinach, but um, yeah, like I said, I couldn't find any. I guess they're sold out. Or I'm blind. Or I can't read Chinese, which is probably not, hopefully not the right answer. Um, gosh, those are very fragrant. I might have put too much. Um, okay, that's good. Now we'll do cucumber. Um, I don't know. That's another thing I don't really know how to perfect is the amount. I don't really know what kind of amount we're aiming for. This looks good to me. I also have to take into account how, um, how small this rice paper is. It's not really very long. I guess I should have done less cucumber because I think I'm gonna like the carrots more. That should be good. And then beef time. It got kind of bunched up. Um, so it may not be cooked evenly, but I really don't care. Now comes for the hard part. Uh, I saw some tricks online that said using sesame oil will help the rice, or sorry, will help the seaweed like stick to itself. Um, or using water will do the same. It'll also help prevent the rice from falling out when we go to cut it. That's just what I've seen. Okay. So let's try this. I'm gonna use my fingers, even though I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do or not. Wow, this is a... Uh... <laughs> interesting let's get some sesame oil on my fingers okay it's uh wrapped in there I'm gonna let it sit like that for a few seconds I don't know what the pro strat is I, I probably don't want the juices to like come out right of the of the meat I don't know I've also seen since you wrap it like with paper I could just cut it while it's like this um, Again, I don't know the best strategy, but maybe that's a good idea. Uh, in fact, I'm kind of afraid it's going to fall apart when we take it out. So maybe cutting it now, like this is the best idea. Okay, um, knife is prepped. Let's try cutting this, I guess. Oh, okay. Well, it's not really circular. But that doesn't look bad. It definitely went heavy on the veggies and not so much on the meat. Um, but it'll be less for the second one because we're gonna do it without cucumber for the next one. So hopefully that is all right. Um, I'm gonna try to unroll this one and see what happens. Okay, it's sticking together. So that's that looks good. Okay, let me get a plate real quick. Oh no, this this does not look like it's going to stay assembled. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, yeah, it did kind of come apart there. And I think it's because my knife isn't sharp enough. And I also didn't roll it really tight enough. Okay, actually that one looks better. Ooh, it's still falling apart. Yeah, it's still falling apart. The aesthetic isn't gonna be the same, but all the ingredients are, so hopefully that's good enough. Oh, oh no. What if I do this? If I try that. I'm sorry, Korean people, for disgracing your culture. Okay, that looks like good enough, I guess. There is the kimbap. 
Uh, this one on the end kind of fell apart. Here are these ones plated. Okay, so unfortunately my girlfriend is at work, so uh, you're not gonna be able to see her taste test the kimbap. Um, I'm sure she'll have stronger opinions about it than I will, but um, I'm gonna taste test it now. Uh, the other kimbap without the cucumber, I'll uh, you know I'll try that on my own. Maybe I'll put some footage here if it if it turns out okay. Later on, I'll tell you guys about what she thought. Um, I, I have to work when she gets home, so I'm actually making this now so that she can eat when she gets home, and then um, I can have a meal before I start work. So uh, maybe I'll tell you about what she thinks later. But yeah, this is this is kind of what we're gonna do right now. Okay, so I'm gonna try the ones that kind of fell apart and just see what happens. So let's dig in. Okay, so um, that's pretty good. I definitely feel like it's good for my first time ever trying. Um, what I said before, where I said like, oh, it looks like we didn't put enough meat. Um, it looks like it's mostly just vegetables. And uh, that's kind of what it tastes like. It tastes like a lot of cucumber and carrot. Um, of course, the first thing you taste is seaweed, um, which tastes great. Um, I don't think we, we made any bad decisions by picking the Taiwanese brand. And um, the strongest flavor, of course, is the beef. So I think we'll just have to um, add a little bit more of that because I really want that to come out. And my next one, and um, maybe a little bit less rice. I think uh, it looked like so little rice because I was packing it down with the with the rice spoon. So uh, it looked like there wasn't a lot there, but it definitely tasted pretty rice heavy. Um, besides that, I think uh, it was pretty good. So some things to learn from here. Um, next time I do this, I definitely wanna have a proper like bamboo mat to roll the, roll the kimba, because uh, this one isn't sticking together really well. The seaweed kind of falls apart at the end there. Um, and it's definitely my fault for using the wrong tools. But besides that, it's, uh, it's really good. Um, not too difficult to make on a on like a one out of ten scale. I would give it like maybe a six or a seven on difficulty um, The hardest part is getting those cuts right and then um, Having it stick together at the end. So yeah, I think uh, Overall, it's pretty good. Definitely a success um, If you like this video and you want to see more cooking videos, let me know in the comments below Please like and subscribe and you'll see those in the future. Um, if there's any dishes that you want me to try out from your country or from any other countries over here in East Asia, like Taiwan or Korea, uh, then let me know and I'll try to cook those in the future. I enjoy cooking. Like I said <laughs> previously, I'm not very good, but I like it. So I will definitely keep making these if you all enjoy it. Um, hope to see you in the next video.